Spin it. Oh! Yep, the old flower chair. Before we get going into today's video, y'all, uh, big shout out to Ducks for sponsoring this video. I don't do many sponsored videos anymore, and we'll get into why after we're done with this short hunt. Uh, but head on over to DucksWaterfowl.com. We're doing a 30% uh, end of season sale on select items. It may be select items, but it's quite a few of them. So don't miss out on this sale. I'll link Ducks Waterfowl at the top of the description down below. Let's get going. Ooh. Fred. Hey, buddy. Feeling good today? Yeah, nice. Yeah. It's cold. It's not blowing very hard, so it's not like you're not freezing. Probably got snows dripping like always. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Lovely morning of looking into the sun we shall have. Yes. Uh, this is the only option for the wind that we had on this field. Um, as you guys have probably noticed, we don't like laying in the decoys much anymore. It's a deal. That's a deal. Uh, we figured out getting out of them, letting the full bodies do their actual job actually works. So uh, lots of hunting not in the decoys this year. And I've had a lot of questions pertaining to snow goose hunting. We do have some dates left, not a bunch. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be doing, uh, but it'll all be pretty much A-frame hunts too. Anything to add to, to any of that? I don't think so. Got a good group, uh, all from Texas today. Mm -hmm. All oh, from well, Dallas. We, a, we got a pretty damn cool one though. Oh yeah. From Brazil. From Brazil. Originally from Brazil. He lives in Dallas now, but he's... Uh, I've already heard some stories of what life is like down there. It's cool. crazy, like yeah, crazy tribe stuff. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we got out what like 25, 30 dozen full bodies today. We are rocking three A frames. There's gonna be six, seven shooters, seven shooters. Mm -hmm. Bradley, the frogman's here. Look at him. All business over there, that guy. All business. What's up? Everybody ha <clears throat> hasn't seen Frogman in a while. I know it's been a little. It's been like four weeks, three weeks. That's, ha a, that's happy an to be eternity. Back. Happy to be back. It's all Emily's fault. I know. Yeah, she got me sucked away. For been lassoing bit. you down, tying you down. Hog tied around the ankles. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. Well, hi, Rick. Look, I barely say his name. He just goes crazy. Hi, Rick. Hi. Oh, you're a lover boy. Spec. <laughs> Speck. So see those? Those are specks. Yeah. See the bellies? Hear the squeaking? <laughs> they were, dude, they were locked they were, up. Yeah. They, I don't know. What happened there? I don't know. We might still they have were. a bunch of frost out there. Think frosty on the decoys? Could be. I mean, they were coming. Yeah, they were. Dad gum. I thought they were done. I mean, as the morning goes on, we might have to move that another, Yeah. you know, take that whole front side, move it to the back side. Yeah. <laughs> Two right here. <laughs> Good shooting, guys. Shoot him! Shoot him, guys. Ah, nice, friend. Back. Nice shooting, all of them, baby. Good. Here, fetch it up. Hold. Hold. Here. Here. Good. Here. 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 Back. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Hold. Here. Here, let's go, let's go, here, 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 back, fetch it up, hold, here, here, let's go, let's go, hold, set, drop, that was good shooting. That was real good shooting right there. Good boy. Good boy. 
that. There's a bunch of them now. Oh, they're they're going to do it. He left. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Baby. They're, they're coming. One more. There's a speck, yeah. three specks, four, five, six, seven specks. Try him right there, guys. There we go. Good, good shooting. We had to try him. Get the camera on for that one. Fetch it up. Hold. Hold. He's shopping. Hold it. He. <coughs> oh boy, out it. I need a drink. Good boy. Need to fetch it up. Drop back. There we go. They came right up in there. They landed with the wind. I don't know what that's all about. Fetch it up. Hold. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Drop here. Shoot this single, single out front, out guys. Front. Oh, oh, Fred. Oh, nice Fred. Nice Fred, dead bird. Oh boy, old Frederick. Oh, <laughs> he got messy. Look at Fred. <laughs> It looks like he's got jacked up. It's about time. That a boy. That a boy. I think this group is good. This top group is specs. Out front, out front only. Shoot him out front. Nice, Fred. Good shooting, boys. Uh, well, back at the lodge, and let me tell you, <laughs> we got a packed house again. The last uh, group, Nick's group, that you had on this hunt. We uh we hunted two days. I didn't do a lot of filming uh, the next two days after this hunt because the wind got crazy. And y'all know high wind with the old camera, not always a great combination. But we've uh, we got to sleep in today. Um, duck season has opened out east. Uh, this morning it was negative eight and uh the birds didn't fly until about 10 10 30 a.m so uh we're uh we sat out this morning we have a new group in they got in yesterday and we're gonna send it on a field duck hunt this evening 
we have ducks everywhere in the evenings and now they're finally flying uh earlier you know around 3 3 30 so definitely huntable we're gonna give it a go this will be our first go uh at these ducks in the evening so moving on to uh the topic at hand um guys i'll be very 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 forward um with my explanation of the thumbnail and title of this video and this is something that i've really been wanting to talk about a lot of you uh, can probably tell that I'm not uploading nearly as much, and there's a few reasons why. Um, I'll get straight to it. The number one reason why is I ju I'm just getting burned out. Um, YouTube, um, in September, y'all remember they demonetized me. Well, we got remonetized, and that's all great and fine and dandy, but it's not. Um, the ad revenue, meaning what I make per month off YouTube, since getting demonetized, is two different things from last year to this year. This hunting season, um, through through November, uh, we were about we were right at about 50% revenue um, compared to last year and other years. Um, what what I'm saying is we're bigger this year, uh, better views kind of so you should be making more money well no it got chopped in half and now that the season's kind of winding down and december's gone and now we're into january we always see a as you as a hunting youtuber you always see a decline uh in views and ad revenue come to come january because everybody's kind of getting out of it and seasons are shutting down up north and so on and so forth but now since then the revenue is at honestly about 65%, 70% down from where it should be. So all in all, if you can understand what I'm getting at, uh, me doing this job three days, three videos a week, three, you know, not only three days a week, but three videos a week like I usually do, that's why we're only doing like two, you know, or sometimes maybe even one, uh, because the effort put in, I don't get back out. It's too cold outside. It is far too cold outside. I hope you all can see me here. Uh, but what I mean by not getting, getting back what I'm putting in, um, so this is what it's compared to. Basically, at any normal job, this is my normal job. Even though it looks flashy and it looks uh, as if I'm lucky, um, sure I am. I, I was lucky to see an opportunity and go make it happen. But what I'm getting at is, it's like having your job that y'all have. Everyone here that's watching, or if you're too young, maybe you don't have a job, but most everyone here that's watching has a job that you get paid, whether it's every week, every two weeks, every month. Same here. Same exact thing. There's no difference. And what I'm trying to get at is, imagine, for no reason at all, you did nothing wrong. But do your job, build the company, uh, make the boss happy, um, have an amazing output. For no reason at all, they slap you on the wrist. More than that, they chop your hand off and take away 70% of your pay. And they go, Jimmy, you're going to do the same job, exactly the same, and you're going to get paid 70% less. So you're going to make 30% of what you're used to. Have fun. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. All of the people, I want to stop some people in their tracks. The ones that say, Bob, you should just feel privileged and happy to have the opportunity to, to be you. And making the videos should make you happy because you should be proud of where you're at. And we all want to see you. Da, da, da. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm not here to do this for free, y'all. This takes my time. This takes my family's time and a bunch of it. Um, time, <clears throat> time is worth more than money. And when you're not getting something out for the amount of time that you're putting in, you probably need to change something. So that's where we're at. I don't know what to change, honestly. I'm kind of kind of at a big standstill. Um, kind of up in the air of what I need to do 
to uh, try to get some money back out of the channel as for ad revenue uh, because it's not there. It is not there. Now we've created uh, Uncut Outdoors and that's going amazing. A lot of you love it. Uh, I have the podcast that me and Preston do and y'all love it. Um, but what's happened is my baby, the reason I started this, the thing that I've been chasing, which is YouTube and ad revenue, has almost completely gotten taken away. I mean, let's be very honest here. So, uh, we, have, we have the Lodge. Um, the YouTube channel still promotes the Lodge. It books the Lodge. So, it ain't like I'm going to be quitting by no means. But the other side of it, so that, so that was my first spiel about the YouTube channel. The other side of it is I am 35 years old and I don't like being told what to do. I will be very, very honest. It, it really is a kick in the you-know-what uh, when people tell me what to do. And especially in my career, whether it's with the Lodge, the Guide Service, YouTube videos, I don't like being told what to do. That's why um, I created this, and, and that's why I work for myself. Um, so the other aspect is, Bob, why don't you do sponsored videos? My wife, Beth, asked me the other day, what? Why don't you do more sponsored videos so each video you do, um, you get something out of it directly? I'll be honest with you. I hate emails. I hate going through emails. And I do not uh, particular, particularly enjoy having to deal with multiple new companies that sponsor a video. Because I'll tell you what, there isn't a lot of those companies that I've done business with that make it easy on me. I'll be very honest. They get particular, oh, change this, that's not good enough. Dada, you need to do it this way. I don't like being told what to do. I just don't. I know what works on here. <clears throat> Sorry. I know what works on here. And when a new company comes along and thinks that they're just going to tell me what to do, it gets very overwhelming. And I'm just like, hey, let's just let's just not do this. Um, so part of this is I'll be I'll be darned if I get bought out and become someone else's. Well, I don't want to say slave by no means, but someone else's uh, puppet. I won't do it. I just will not do it. I will not sell my soul to all these random little companies, all these random little products that want to promote here. On the YouTube channel, I won't do it because um, it takes away from what I've built, first of all. Um, I like to maintain a mature audience, like a lot of you know. And I, I think it, doing those things just kind of overcrowds it and it washes it out. And it does it takes a lot of uh, the genuine, a lot of genuine stuff out of it. Um, so that's why you see me only plug in, you know, ducks a lot. Uh, ducks is still mine, you know, it, it's my baby too. So uh, just trying to keep it at home, keep the circle tight. It seems like the circle is getting tighter every year and the things that, the options I once had um, with, with YouTube and stuff are kind of diminishing. So some changes uh, have already happened. Um, I know a lot of you have been like, Bobby, upload more. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. We watch everyone. I understand that, and I appreciate you guys so much. You don't, under you don't understand how much I appreciate all you fellas and gals, families sitting down on your couches watching my videos with your loved ones. That, that, means them, that actually means the world to me. And uh, I want to probably... Um, I'll probably tame back and make sure the videos that I put out are genuine, are heartfelt, are not just generic. You know what I mean? Hey guys, this this video is sponsored by Dada Dada's Your Pillow, and I I just want to tell you about it and this and this and it's the best thing since sliced bread and da 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 da. That's not Bobby. If you ever met me, you would understand that's not me. It ain't. I've done it. And it ain't me. I hate it. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to sit here and complain uh, all day. I wanted to get a lot of this stuff out. Just kind of the reasons why things have slowed down here. A lot of you, a lot of you have noticed. Um, and I hope that you all understand. If you want a particular video 
that you miss or you, you want me to do again. I'm sure me and dad are going to be doing the magnet fishing videos this summer, probably pretty casually. Um, but this summer, it won't be like normal. Um, I'm not going to be uploading a bunch this summer. This is a waterfowl hunting channel, and waterfowl hunting is what made me. And uh, trying to reinvent myself to become someone else is probably not the best idea. Uh, so we'll probably be doing some how-tos, maybe once a month, once every two weeks during the summer. Some magnet fishing, some projects, whether it's new leases, duck blinds, putting in wells, um, digging holes, I don't know. Uh, working on the lodge those videos will always maintain uh, but chasing just YouTube and kind of doing immature videos when I'm 35 I feel like I'm beyond that I just am I, I am beyond it and uh, it just wore me out I'm just I'm absorbed with it so this is what we're going to do. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Uncut Outdoors, uh, the videos over there are literally behind the scenes. All of us creators over there, a lot of times I'll just whip out my phone and be like, yo, I'm going to take you along in the backyard. We're going to be doing this, cleaning up this, loading this trailer, cleaning birds. I've done like two or three bird hitch videos where we actually use the wing slinger cleaning birds and I give the explanations of why that's what I'm loving now. Um, because it's easy. I'm not told what I can and can't do over at Uncut Outdoors. Simple as that. And a lot of you like to be along for the ride, seeing the behind the scenes. So if you haven't checked out Uncut Outdoors, I would, I'd say go try it out, honestly. It does cost some money, but there's awesome giveaways over there. Uh, Rob and Flair just gave away a helicopter hog hunt. Um, they're giving away a ton of stuff. I'm probably going to end up giving away a hunt here over on Uncut. So, uh, Uncut's always linked down below every single video. Um, but I just want to thank you guys for always being in my corner. Uh, we've had some struggles here and uh, I'm having to reinvent the wheel a little bit. But the YouTube channel is just growing up now. And I want to tell you guys that it's growing up. It is a mature audience and I plan on maintaining that. So, other than that, the duck sale, end of season sale, 30% off select items, which I say select, it's a bunch. A lot of the old school hoodies, vests, uh, the coat might be on there. We have some acrylic calls on there, uh, a bunch of stuff that's on sale. Don't miss that. I will link it at the top of the description below. That sale only goes through Saturday, I believe. So you only have a couple more days to go purchase and save yourself some jack. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being the best audience in the world. Uh, my audience, a lot of you get to come here on guided hunts now. And I feel privileged to have the guide service. And I get to meet you guys when you come through. And I can say that I have the best clients. I have the best audience. And uh, I'm just gracious to be in the spot I am. Thank you guys. But until next time.